Good morning. I hope you all had a nice weekend. I'm sending this to you today to walk you through something new I'm going to be including every morning. Um, it's not quite as fun as our morning meeting in school, but it's still a good way to practice a calendar, weather, our feelings, things like that. I know I've been getting the days mixed up, so hopefully this will help us remember what day of the week it is while we're here at home. Um, you're going to open this file when I send it, whether it be email or Google Classroom. It's on um, Google Slides. And you can completely edit it. My face will not be in the corner. This is just to walk you through it. You do not want to click present. So we don't click there. Otherwise, you can't edit. So it's going to look exactly like this. And then you go through the slides. So what day of the week is it? Yesterday was Sunday. You just drag it down there. Today is Monday. And tomorrow will be Tuesday. Now you can do this on a touch screen. You can, I'm using my laptop. You can use a desktop, a laptop, an iPad, a tablet. You can use your phone. Um, it, if you have a Google slide app, it's free. So there's many ways you can do this. And go to the next one. Our month is April. And the date is the 6th. See, I had to look and see what the date was. <laughs> and our year is 2020. Scroll down a little more. Our season is spring. And our weather, I'm actually recording this video ahead of time. So I'm hoping on Monday, April 6th, when we open this, that it will be sunny and that the temperature will be warm. That's our hope. So there's two more things after you do the date and the weather. So on a warm day, what would you wear? Probably, definitely you wouldn't wear a coat on a warm day. Maybe a long sleeve shirt, maybe a light sweater. And it's not quite summer yet, so I'm gonna say pants. And then the last slide we're going to do is how you feel today. Today, I feel just okay. I would love to be happy, but I miss you guys. I miss being in school, waking up another Monday, not going to school. I'm not too happy and that's okay. Just like we've been talking about in all my stories that I've been sending you, we have different feelings and I'm sure I'll feel a little happier later. I really hope that you guys are happy though. And it will end with a little message from me. And I will read this to you before I sign off. I hope you have a good day today. Remember you're special, you're important, and you matter. I'll see you later for my story.